So Zechariah continues from where we left off yesterday. This is verse 5. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? So where are their fathers? Dead and buried. But they finally brought their nation under judgment. Do the prophets live forever? They do their mission. First, then they're attacked verbally, and then they'll be attacked physically. Many times it gets beyond that. And so they do their thing, and then it's left with the kings and the rulers and the people. What will they do? Under the prophecies of God's servants 70 years before, they, they utterly failed to repent. They wound up going into captivity for 70 years. Bad deal, and it never had to be. In other words, everything always works under parameters. There's a time where you're told what is going on. There's what's revealed to you. There's a time to respond. There's a time to turn. Everything's kind of always under a, a continuous countdown. Now, what do we do about that? What do we do with our opportunities? Our opportunities to turn to him. Somehow we don't expect God to work with us that way. He's going to treat us differently. We're under some kind of grace that's different somehow from the grace that everybody else was under. Boy, that's, a, that's, a, that's not the way we want to think about it. That's not the way we want to look at it. This is a day of opportunity. We should do our utmost to bow at the feet of Jesus and find his path forward. We would never pull the spiritual stunts that, that those guys did back there in the, in the early Bible times. Only the fact is we do exactly the same and we do it worse. So our action steps here are to find out what God wants and actually turn to him and do it. Looking at how he dealt with Israel in time past, we see exactly what not to do. And so what we need to do is do the opposite. Turn to him always, every time, and we'll be blessed in doing that. God be with you today.